Hey guys, so today on Cheat Sheet, I feel rather cheated. Turns out the delicious, yummy, tasty food that we see in films and ads, it's not even real. So here's a spoiler alert. You want to watch the rest of this video only and only if you're willing to handle the truth. fun to be here at the food studio. And I'm glad and you can I'm, make it here. <laughs> thank you. I have warned viewers that you're going to bust a lot of myths when it comes to food and films. <laughs> but let's start at the very beginning and understand what is the role of a food stylist? We have to just make sure that the food is pretty for the camera. Yeah. But so why? what we perceive, uh, the naked eye perceives food and the colors, the camera does not perceive that. So I may have to lift the food a little bit. I may have to enhance the color of the food a bit and the height of the food. Maybe I need to undercook the food because, you know, the freshness of the food comes across better. When you cook the food thoroughly, it just dies because you add salt, then you, there's a lot of heat being already applied mm -hmm. to the food. So the food kind of dies. But are there some foods that are more difficult to style than other foods? What, what is a really hard dish to dress up? Uh, there are foods which can be a little uh, tricky to style, especially foods which are round in shape, like our gulab jambuns or the laddu for that matter. So you must have seen like this is plate and you have somebody stacked up the uh, laddus. And it looks so delicious. Delicious. Ha what happens is if it's a still shoot, then it's even worse because you're living with that image. And when you start arranging these circular things, uh, what happens there is negative space between the triangle that gets formed between the three laddus. Who would have thought? Exactly. And that hole, that black hole looks like, you know, I was conjuice in putting those laddus. <laughs> So how do you manage something like that? What we do is we cut half a laddu, we put it behind so that there's some laddu being seen and you don't get caught. Wow. <laughs> and are these laddus and food in general that you use, is it edible? Like yes. Yes. the models can eat it Absolutely. Safely. And uh, what happens is then some of the shoots where actually people have to eat, they tell us beforehand that look, it needs to be edible. So we tell them that you know, it's edible food. We, what we do is we don't put salt. Now nobody, I haven't heard anybody dying of eating raw vegetables, <laughs> so it's fine, you know. So till the time it's undercooked, but it's cooked, it's hygienic. I'm very excited to go around your studio and find out all the tricks that you have up your sleeve. <laughs> so you promised to show us. Okay, a bunch so of the cat is going to be out of the bag. <laughs> These are fake ice cream. Wow. Yeah. So the have we seen this <laughs> fake ice cream, guys? Myth number one busted. <laughs> what is this actually? It's uh, just a dough, a sugar dough. Yeah. So you must have heard of fondant. Yeah. Yeah. So something similar. So this won't melt, basically. This won't melt, and you can play around with it. You know, you can stick these tidbits in its uh, inside. This is this is just a, yeah. This is just arrangement for you. <laughs> Just to see how things can be, you know, arranged Plated and styled and very well. That's so it. So, what tricks are you going to show us today? I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how do we do the pani tikka. So, this one is ready. What I'm going to do this is marinate this guy. So, we don't need much time to marinate. We just apply the paste. This is fully edible. Uh, fully edible, yeah. yeah. I'll put oil liberally. 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 <laughs> So when the directors tell us, I need the paninti in five minutes, we yeah, have no. ready. <laughs> All you do is just open the gun and that's it. <laughs> so now we are all set to find out how to plate grilled chicken and make it look as delicious as this. A lot of work apparently goes into it. Let's Not find really. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make you do that now. You're going to make me do that? Yes, very much. Let's so my it. chef has already pre-prepared the chicken so the chicken doesn't uh, bend in a fashion that we may not like it on camera. Okay. So what we do is we just uh, put toothpicks all through, through and through the meat okay. and we put it in uh, boiling water till it just turns opaque. If you've seen raw meat, it's all translucent but yeah. when it uh, cooks, just on the surface, uh -huh. if you slice this, this is going to be kacha. Yeah. So he's put some herbs and all. Okay. So when the director says, you know, now you give me my plate of grilled chicken and salad. So we have all the prep ready. So while I'm talking to you, you're going to be heating this 
on what the gas. What is this and what does it do? This is a skewer, any skewer that you put meat on. Yeah. So we are going to be uh, heating a length of it. And I'm going to be your assistant today and I'm going to apply some oil. So now what you can do is just put the skewer however you want to create the grill pattern. Come and press it nicely, yeah. Sizzle sound. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely, no? Ooh, yeah. it's cooking. <laughs> yes. So, it's, you have to just heat it till it's like red hot. And then just pierce it into yes, the chicken. Yes, yes. What you do is just take off the skewers. That's it. You're done. Perfect. We're done. Yes. Plate much. of grilled chicken. What did it take us? Three minutes? <laughs> <laughs>Fun is not just with food, it's apparently with some drink as well and you wanted to show us one more trick. Thank you so much. What are we doing now? So recently for a shoot, we had to make a beer uh, wall. So, so much of beer. So the client who, for whom we were doing it, they're like, are you really going to use my actual beer? I said, okay, don't worry. <laughs> we're going to have something. Deep beer? Yes. So that's what we're going to do. So I just have some egg whites here. Egg whites? Yeah. And we put some icing uh, castor sugar here. So castor sugar and egg whites. Just egg whites. In yeah. equal proportion. Yeah, and an extremely clean bowl. Okay. No water. Yeah. So the froth mm. is ready. And it's just egg. Yeah, it's just egg. <laughs> and then I have this liquid. I've already put some colour in it. Which it's can water resemble with water with just food colour. Yeah. So we just put some colour. Okay. And I'm putting some glycerin so that you know it gives some body to it, and it's just not liquid and thin water. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a stir. So the beer needs to be chilled. So why do we have Vaseline? <laughs> to chill the beer. What? So there you go. All you do is pour this liquid. Then you put the froth. And then, before he shoots a very tight close-up of something like this, all I do is just add a little bit of... And not drinkable, but looks absolutely like a delicious. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> well done. What is the best part about being a food stylist? What do you love the most about your job? Just being around food. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I would love to take your job any day. Thank you so much for allowing us You're into the studio. Everything looks amazingly delicious and I've learned a few tricks. So now I can't Lovely. say I just know how to boil egg. <laughs> Thanks so I'm much. glad. Thank you for having us. Same here. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to Cheat Sheet. So guys, if you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to Film Companion and next up maybe we'll cook up a storm together. Uh, that should be on the case. Done deal. <laughs> Thank you.